given that all the learning we've got from the um, innovative housing programme demonstrates that uh, there are um, renewable energy solutions uh, to hand with you know, the expertise available here in Wales. There are I, 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 I'm astonished that we are thinking of installing gas um, in, a, in homes that don't have gas when we're going to have to rip it out in the future in all the gas-fired uh, um, heating systems. But to, we, surely we need to make a leap from those who are currently using things like LPG, which are, yeah. are absolutely not um, affordable. Um, you know, they're just far more expensive than anything else that's available. Surely these are the homes that should be prioritised for the new renewable heating systems. They, they should be prioritised. But I can suggest it's in, in a number of ways. Firstly, if you're talking about high, heat pumps, whether they're hybrids yeah. or battery storage or new forms of, of renewable, some of these homes are very poorly insulated. Mm -hmm. And that in order to, to tax the, the fabric of the home first, enables those other schemes okay. to come in to operate so you get Cardiff a proper... Cardiff University's look, done so quite a lot of work on, on this and has done lots of different types of um, insulation of different types of homes, whether they're stone-built or, or other. No, there's a huge amount of, of learning. And I, I was say about the separation of the delivery of, of measures through Arbid and the necessary learning that we need to do about putting in innovative heating systems, in, especially into uh, off-gas rural homes, is absolutely important. As I said at the beginning, my concern is there are people that 500 people die in Wales every year, excess winter deaths of the cold, primarily the, the very old, and I'd like to see a strategy that brings those two things together. Because I said there's no way mm. you can tackle fuel poverty emergency without tackling the decarbonisation uh, crisis. But ensure that we're still taking measures immediately this year, you know, today, tomorrow, the mm. next week, to make sure that we have sufficient felt benefits for those people who live, who, whose experience of fuel poverty isn't just financial, isn't just transactional. Mm. It's about living in homes which are covered in mould and unhealthy and cause ill health and sometimes <laughs> premature death.